Hello everybody, I have another, I wouldn't call this an unboxing, but just an unveil. This is actually not a box, well it's a box from Greenlight, but they didn't send this to me. This actually came from our friends in Hong Kong at um, Tarmac Works, T-A-R-M-A-C Works. Um, they are a fairly new company that is doing die cast in several scales, The obviously the scale I'm most interested in is 164 and they have sent over some stuff we did a preview of one of their models a honda civic um, several several months ago at lamleygroup.com just look up tarmac works i'm actually opening this off camera sorry um, but i'm just opening it up and we're going to see what's inside there's actually some interesting things i think not just uh their stuff but um Go ahead and pull out what we've got here. All right, so put that here. And then we will pull this out. So I'm just gonna put that in the background right here. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is something quite cool. Um, Tarmac Works, like I said, they're a new company. They've got some new stuff coming, which is right here. And we're gonna look at that, but first, they did a little, uh, what do you want to call it, a co-promotion, a little joint venture with Greenlight. And if you have seen this, there you can see Tarmac Works and Greenlight and the model. Some of you have probably already seen it. The Advent livery, livery is the Nissan GTR. It's kind of cool. It's got a box with it, the Tarmac logo on it. HKS, the Advan livery, it is sharp. So I am not going to open this now because green light is very difficult to open, but I am going to cut this one open, this special edition. I do not think, now I will find out for sure, I do not think this is going to be available in stores. This is only going to be available through Tarmac Works, I believe. I could be wrong, but I'll find out, and I promise you when I feature this on lamleygroup.com, I will make sure to mention where you can pick this one up. It's very cool with the gold wheels on it, with the livery on it. I have a friend, Jimmy, who is going to be excited uh, because of that livery as well. Okay, I'm gonna put that, well, let's see, I'm gonna put this right here. And we're gonna go ahead and look at some of the Tarmac work models. I would say if there was anything to compare them to, it's probably, uh, Kyosho, maybe M2 and from a packaging perspective. They aim for realism. Um, I remember when I open these, I try when I write, I try and be somewhat prepared to talk about the cars and what inspired them and so on and so forth. But when I just open up cars, sometimes I don't and you guys can be sure to answer. Okay, I'm just going to start putting these right here. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm going to open them. Um, for the blog. Oh, these are nice. Okay. All right. These are the first two castings. Now, Tarmac Works, I'm going to leave a link down below in the comment section to their Facebook page. I believe they are on Instagram as well. Um, but um, I'll, and I'll put links to all that because you want to be, you want to be paying attention to them. We'll try and get announcements out on the blog too of what they're doing. But they have done, they have a couple of new, a couple of castings in 164. The Honda Civic, and this is a racing version, so I can't, I don't know if I can get there, you can read that. Honda Civic EG6, Group A Racing. It's on, it's screwed to this base, obviously it has a plastic, um, plastic case that it's in. Oh. And as you know, I like to drop things when I'm doing videos on them. So... There it is. That is the first Honda Civic racing car. And then they have this one in the Spoon Sports livery. I think it's the same base, right? Okay, EG6 number 95 right there. Spoon racing livery. That is awesome. <laughs> I'm trying their spoon on the back. So I think the packaging is very similar. I like how they do this kind of crate look. So 
So those are the Honda Civics. I, that's uh, it was a Honda Civic that I actually featured on the blog a while ago, and then they also have done the Audi R8 LMS. And wow. So what you're looking for here with the with the um, here I'm just going to put I have a Hot Wheels right here, kind of get a sense of the scale. It's pretty much the same scale as Hot Wheels. Um, there's the Audi R8 LMS. Okay, you can see that from the front too, which is nice. Detailed a la Kyosho, right? Like complete detailing, front, back, side. Oh, these will be fun to open. I'm looking forward to opening. Wheels look really good. Now, one thing that um, I was told by the guys over at Tarmac is that they love these Audi R8s and they love these racing, these LMS Cup racing cars. They do feel like this model did come out slightly boxy. And uh, they said look for another version of this Audi R8 very soon, like a slightly modified casting that looks a little less boxy. Nonetheless, I wouldn't complain too much because they are awesome. Here is the, and again, I'm unprepared, but Marchi Lee, Sean Thong, Asia 2016 Okayama round six winner in gold. That is awesome. Okay. AAPE by a bathing ape. I'm going to just leave it at that and figure out what that is later. But you guys can tell me if you are familiar. That is awesome. So I think Tarmac's going to be a player, right? With models like that. Looks great. Great choice with the black background. All right, that's Tarmac. Okay. You're familiar with Greenlight? There's their uh, there's their joint venture with Greenlight on the Nissan GTR, and then here are their own models: the Hondas in spoon livery, and then these uh, two great Audi R8 LMS Cup models. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, got more to do. Talk to you later. Bye.